Hi, I'm Holly Clegg. Welcome to my Trim and Terrific Kitchen. Do I have a recipe for y'all today? I would say this is probably the most popular talked about recipe in all my cookbooks. That's how great it is. It's a king cake, but it's so simple to make. You know, we in Louisiana love king cake, and you could order them, but I have had people from all over say, this is the best king cake they've had. I think it's because it's the easiest king cake. Another one of my less than 10 ingredients, you start with reduced fat crescent rolls, and you just separate them and make them into triangles, and you always want to put your point in and around, and then you're going to sort of push it together in the middle. I have half of it done to show you. And this is just a mixture of powdered sugar and a little milk and cream cheese to give it that good flavor, okay? I'm just doing it quick to show you. And this is a mixture of brown sugar and cinnamon. I like to sort of glop it around. It all will spread when it bakes. And this is sort of tricky if you hadn't seen it made, that's why I wanted to show it to you. So now, you, what you want to do is pull the ends together and it forms like a little king cake. And you could do this um, for breakfast, you could do it for football games, you could pretty much do it any time of year, but in, you know, around Mardi Gras, it becomes a focal point. Now, you want to bake it at 350 just for about 15, 20 minutes till it gets brown. You have to let it cool completely. And here is our finished king cake. Now, you have to do your different colors. Here we have yellow, purple, and the purple is, remember, red and blue. We went to school for a reason. And I'm going to do a little extra green on top. But think about this. If you're during football season, do your favorite uh, team's colors during Valentine's Day. I have a red king cake, so you can have a lot of fun with this. And you definitely don't want to save this to Mardi Gras because you're going to want it year round. And if you want the recipe, it's on my website, hollyclegg.com. And this is one you will make, I promise.